Yeah, it was. I just felt like yeah. um, Kara and I wanted to just establish a presence and just, you know, let people know we weren't messing around. And it was a little quick. <laughs> but um, I feel like I, I didn't know what pace to expect just given the conditions. And so I just let my body kind of gravitate towards whatever pace that was per lap. And felt like I found a good rhythm and probably more like the 77s for most of the race, 77 seconds per lap. Um, but yeah, I got out and established just a presence and just let it be known that I wanted to run hard. And so that's what that was probably about. But it was a little bit too bad. stadium record out of it? Oh, no. No. Good to know. Okay. Yeah. What's it like to win this title yet again? Um, it's important to me. It really is. Winning national titles are important because it's just, it's the step towards the next level. And so, if, you know, I think it's important to to win national titles, to have a presence in the U.S. and just hopefully inspire and motivate people. Um, and I enjoy winning national titles. Um, I love the competition, um, the atmosphere, and it's just important to be a part of it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, I think some of my training that I did for Boston, um, you know, I ran a really solid 10K like four weeks out from my marathon, um, much faster than even tonight. So um, I had still some of the track legs in me, and I actually focused more on the speed, and I didn't do as much of the endurance training because I'd already done that all winter and, you know, literally done months of that. So all I did was just sharpen up for this, and... Um, it wasn't as fast because of the conditions, and um, it was windy and hot, which is just like seems like an oxymoron. But um, so yeah, so the conditions weren't ideal, and just had to make do with what it was. But yeah, it was an easy. It was a very nice transition between the marathon. I only took like three days off. Um, my quads were sore for about ten days, but got over that, um, and then just it was kind of seamless transition. So it was 84 at the start of the race. Did you 84 that? degrees. Yeah. yeah, I felt it. It was. Um, one of those situations where, you know, traditionally I like to close down the end of the race, you know, pretty fast, and I just, I didn't want to run any faster than I was. It was one of those survival races where I'm just like, can we please get this over with as soon as possible? So it was just, it was uncomfortable from the beginning, so. Have you thought ahead to Worlds at all? Have I what? Thought ahead to Worlds? No, not, not too much other than I wanted to be on the team, but I haven't really thought about the race per se or competition really yet. Now my mind's thinking about it though. What's, what's, your, what's your racing schedule going to be like between now and last Um, I don't know. I may, I may stick around and run the 5K on Sunday. Um, and then I may just get ready for Moscow and then maybe run a little bit after Moscow. So I think I'll just run in maybe one more competitive race and then that'll be it. Moscow. So. What do you think it's going to take to medal in Moscow? Um, or is it yeah. more question how fast somebody can fly? Yeah, I mean, so it just depends on the race. Uh, if it's a, you know, more of an in pure endurance race where it's just a good solid effort from the beginning, I think I probably have a better shot of doing well there. Um, if it's a kicker's race, um, I won't fare as well. I, I can kick, but not maybe as world class as some of my competition. So, um, you know, I don't really know. I'll let my coach you know, do the homework and put it down and see what needs to be done, but I'm feeling pretty fit. What, my fitness what, is coming around. So. Would a scenario with you taking a lead early on in the race, maybe from the beginning of the midpoint, be a possible strategy? Yeah, I'm not afraid to lead at all. It's uh, one of my my strengths. I think I'm not intimidated by it. And um, but you know, when the competition's all equal, it's um, it's harder to to shake people who are just as good, if not better, than you. So it's a gamble, but it's sometimes it's a tactic that does work. So it may be a route I go. We'll just have to wait and see who's, what, you know, the other countries, who's going to be in Moscow and what the teams are going to be like. So. There's a lot of people in those stands would like to see you in the 5,000. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we'll see. I'll see uh, how these feet held up. Um, I feel a little bit of a blister coming on, but, um, yeah, I, if, as long as I feel healthy. I mean, I think I, I would love to run in the 5 pages just... Just some good competition, good U.S. runners, so it'll be fun. You say your, your fitness is coming around and yeah. around into shape. You, you say you feel like you have a lot of room to grow still in that area? Yeah, I just like more my, my track fitness, my track speed. I'm, I was fit from for Boston and uh, just kind of coming back into form. Like I've been doing some faster stuff that I haven't done in a long time, and I've surprised myself. I haven't put any mental boundaries on um, how fast I can run, so it's been fun. Yeah. When, when, you, when, you, when you think Wait, you did, the race just finished? Yep. Yeah. Rub red stairs. Okay. <laughs> when, when you, when you, how do you consider yourself fit? 
when is it a is it a certain workout? Is it is it a mentality? How do you how do you gauge it? How do you tell yourself, okay, Shalane, I'm I'm fit now. Um, I guess it's workouts, and it's you know Jerry Jerry knows that he can like he has an eye and he can say you know like today that really impressed me. I can tell you're really fit. Um, so it's maybe some of his feedback, some of the traditional wild like a few staple workouts that we do, and um, sometimes I can draw back to past years when I've run you know 14:45 for a 5k and I've run that workout. You know I can correlate it a little bit, but um, yeah, so it's a variety of things. But Jerry is nine; he can tell if I'm fit or not. Fit, so that's good. <laughs> so yeah. the 5K, to, is it the middle of the day, Sunday, Saturday? Yeah, I think it's going to be a scorcher. That didn't bother you? Yeah. Um, yeah, probably. It won't be comfortable. It won't be really, um, it won't be like a nice race. But I, don't, I mean, it's, <laughs> it is what it is. Everyone has to deal yeah. with it. So. But you don't have to do it. I mean, is it just you want to prove that you can still beat him at 5K? I just think it's a fun challenge. I mean, I just look at all the names and it's just like I'd like to see what I could do. I don't, I don't have an ego in it. I mean, if I were to be top three, that would be phenomenal. I just want to see what I could do and race tactically. I don't get to race very often. You know, doing a lot of marathon, you don't get to race a lot. So I think it's just good to race every now and then. So. And are you going to do a fall marathon too? No. Nope. No. All right. Yep. Thanks. Good luck.